Signs you are a backup partner for someone. Have you ever thought about the possibility that someone might be using you as a backup partner? If your partner is keeping you in reserve while exploring other options, it can be incredibly frustrating. This kind of relationship can become very toxic and hurtful, especially if you're the one who is emotionally invested while your partner isn't. Not being the top choice can significantly damage your self-esteem and emotions. The quickest and most effective way to handle being in a standby relationship is to recognize the signs. Here are some clear indicators that you might be someone's backup partner. 1. Certain boundaries. If your partner is insistent on enforcing certain boundaries in the relationship, it's a sign that something might be wrong. These boundaries could include restrictions like not calling them whenever you want, not being introduced to their friends, or not posting pictures together on social media. This situation can make it seem like your partner is the only one dictating the terms of the relationship. 2. No exclusivity in the relationship. You might spend time together, have lunch, exchange romantic gifts, and do everything that a typical couple does. However, when it comes to defining the relationship, your partner pulls back. They avoid making the relationship exclusive and will go to great lengths to steer clear of such discussions. 3. Changes in intimacy pattern. If your partner sees you as a backup, they might either avoid physical intimacy altogether or only seek a physical relationship. If your partner is shy, they may refrain from any physical intimacy. Conversely, if your partner is confident and solely engages in physical intimacy, it indicates they aren't emotionally invested in you. 4. Distracted at all times. Your partner often seems distracted, especially when they're with you. If they dismiss it with excuses about work pressure or other issues, there's a good chance they're thinking about someone else. The key is to observe how frequently they seem distracted. If it's a constant occurrence, it likely means they have little interest in you. 5. Unavailability. Their usual excuse for being unavailable is, I'm busy. They rarely make an effort to spend time with you because they are entirely focused on their own life. Even on weekends or holidays, they don't have time for you, likely because they are busy with friends or someone else. You simply aren't a priority for them. 6. You can't move on. Although your partner shows little interest in being emotionally available to you, they can't stand the idea of you moving on. They will always find ways to pull you back, even if they insist on keeping the relationship hidden. If you try to move on, your partner may become overprotective and jealous, trying to keep you from leaving. Ways to rekindle spark in your marriage. The spark in a marriage can fade quickly unless both partners actively work to keep it alive. Amid the numerous responsibilities and burdens, marriage can become monotonous, leading to a lack of romance and passion. This, in turn, can cause issues that may become irreparable. To help reignite the passion in your valuable marital bond, here are the best ways to rekindle the spark. 1. Date nights. No matter how busy you are, always make time for date nights. Reserve a table at a nice restaurant and ask your partner to dress up for the occasion. While this doesn't need to be an everyday event, planning a surprise date every now and then can set the stage for a night of passion. 2. Groom together. The daily hustle and bustle can leave you both feeling tired and stressed. A spa session can be a great remedy, especially a couple spa day with head and body massages, manicures, and pedicures. Alternatively, you can opt for at-home pampering, where you massage each other amidst the soothing aroma of scented candles. 3. Listen to your partner. As your marriage evolves, you may feel a growing inclination to always voice your thoughts. While this can be positive, it's not necessarily beneficial to constantly speak up, especially if your partner is the one who mostly listens. If they're making an effort to communicate with you, sometimes it's best to remain silent and listen to their perspective. Moreover, avoid criticizing their words, as it can hinder open communication. 4. Meditation. Engaging in meditation together offers a wonderful opportunity to connect with each other's spiritual essence. When the spark of romance and passion dwindles in marriage, fostering a strong spiritual connection can be the ideal path forward. 5. Short, spontaneous trips. If the demands of work have left both of you feeling endlessly exhausted, it's only fitting to plan a weekend getaway soon. You could even turn it into a sex cat iron, booking a hotel for the weekend and dedicating all your time to making up for the long-awaited intimacy. Stages men go through after a breakup. 
Breakups affect everyone differently, but men often try to distract themselves from the heartbreak they've just endured. While they may be skilled at masking their emotions, it's not always possible for them to hide their feelings. Despite any denial, they typically go through a rough period after ending a relationship. In fact, they experience certain stages after a breakup that ultimately help them move on from their previous relationship. Stage 1, Attending to Ego. Men typically have a significant ego that remains suppressed during the relationship, but once it ends, their ego often resurfaces forcefully. They withdraw into their own world, needing time to process various aspects of the breakup. This period is often marked by irritability and frustration for them. Stage 2, Out Socializing. Men typically seek out social interactions and engage in activities to distract themselves from the pain of a breakup. Unlike women, they often struggle to process the emotional pain directly and may attempt to push it aside. While socializing can provide temporary relief from the hurt, they are likely to continue experiencing emotional distress throughout the day. Stage 3, Realization. Following the phase where men attempt to momentarily distract themselves from the pain, they gradually begin to comprehend the circumstances and the causes behind the breakup. They come to recognize their current emotional vulnerability, feeling hurt and isolated. In this state of solitude, they contemplate seeking happiness anew or remaining single for a period. Stage 4, Acceptance. At this point, men fully acknowledge the reality of their breakup with someone they once loved, realizing there's no alternative but to move forward. This stage is often marked by feelings of anger and sadness, as men find themselves questioning every motive in their life. Stage 5, New Thoughts and Old Trust. During this stage, men gradually rebuild trust in their ex-partner and may aspire to establish a cordial relationship with them. Alternatively, they might choose to entirely let go of their past relationship and focus on moving forward. They also anticipate meeting new people and emerging from their shell after a period of introspection. Stage 6, Romance, Once Again. For some men, this stage arrives much later, while for others, it occurs relatively early. It's the point where a man becomes confident about dating someone new or feels entirely at ease embracing the single life. It's also a period where thoughts about the past relationship no longer linger in their mind. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.